Minecraft Bob Ross here. Today I want to talk with you about how to build circles in Minecraft. You've probably figured out that Minecraft is a very square-centric place. Uh, it, it seems not to like circles. There aren't too many circular objects in Minecraft, although there are a few, such as dragon eggs. However, um, most of your blocks and things that you build your structures out of are obviously a square shape, uh, and thus don't seem very conducive to building circles. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, if you're an experienced Minecrafter, you probably have your own ways and methods of doing this. Um, so, um, but maybe there'll be some value in this video. Maybe I can show you some, some different ideas for how to get to the same place. But if you're a new Minecrafter, this is one of the most important things that you need to learn to become a more advanced Minecrafter in terms of your builds is how to build circles because there are so many things that really lend themselves to being shaped like a circle. Uh, what made me think to make this video uh, my son, uh, I assigned him with the task of trying to make a rocket ship uh, and make it look sort of like a, you know, a traditional NASA style rocket ship. Um, I'm thinking of the Apollo 11, for example. Um, he uh, made it square, of course. Most kids, most new Minecrafters think in squares especially kids who are also new Minecrafters. So I thought about it and said, well, I, I need to show them how to make circles. And it occurred to me that I need to make a video about this. Uh, so where do we start? I'm going to show you a basic template for making uh, circles. Um, and, uh, and then from there, I'm going to share a method for, for making circles of any size that you need to make. Uh, but first, let's start with the basics. The most basic shape in Minecraft is a block. You know that, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm not showing you anything you don't know. I wonder if these have edges. They do have edges. Let me see if I can find something that has a definite, clear-cut edge to it. I think quartz blocks might do the trick just fine, but I just want to glance around and see if there's anything that might be a little bit better. Hmm. These emerald blocks with their new design, that could work well too, but then again it would kind of blend into the grass. Okay. Yeah, we'll stick with quartz. That looks just fine. So, um, your first shape is a, a square, a, a block. You're, now, imagine that what we're doing is we're going to go around each previous shape. Of course, this doesn't look much like a circle yet. <laughs> it's not a circle. But what you're going to notice in our system here is a gradual increase. As we, as we keep uh, increasing the size, the shape will become more circular. Let's look at our second shape. Imagine just going around that block like a square donut shape like that. That is our second shape. Also notice that our diameters will always be, in this build, in multiples of uh, odd numbers. Multiples of, oh, I would say multiples of one, but like one is our first one, and then three. But it will count up by twos from there. So one, three, our next diameter will be a five block diameter circular shape and you will notice for the first time we will begin to get a shape that somewhat begins to resemble a more circular shape see that let's keep going our next one uh, will will actually look a little bit closer to what we would expect to see this one's going to be seven because we're one three, five, seven, and it'll look like this. We have a we have a corner there, a little corner piece, and then we go with sides of three. And we have our corner three and then our corner just like that. Now that's really starting to look more like a circle, but it still sort of has an angular diamond shape, doesn't it? But it's getting there. That's a seven diameter. The next one's going to be nine. Now something something weird is going to happen here. Notice how up to this point our sides have been three. The major, the four major 
big sides are made up of three blocks. Right? This time it's going to go up to five. I go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one's going to be a diameter of nine. The way you make this magic happen is you put a little angle on the inside, like a little triangular shape. And unlike these, notice there's an overlap here. This happens sometimes in some of these shapes. Okay, we got five here. What you'll notice too with this particular building system that I'm using, whenever the side goes up in number, like you go from three on the side to five, you'll always have an overlap the first, for the first blocks that come off of that side. It's just the way the system works. See that shape? Take a good look at that shape. Now we're getting there. It still sort of has a diamond look to it instead of a circle, but bear with me. We're going to get there. The next one's going to be 11 blocks. We're going to start with 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will never go back to 3. Uh, it will only go up from here, but it will we'll maintain 5 for a while. So we're going to go 5, and then we're going to go 1, 2, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two. Now, you'll notice that this looks kind of like this. It's kind of the, the five block equivalent of what we did here with three blocks for the one that's seven in diameter. All right. and the, we're, you're going to notice repeating patterns. Uh, as you as you do this. Now the next one, let's see, is going to be. Um, so this one's 11. Our next one's going to be 13. This is where it'll really start to look like a circle. This one's kind of weird. You're going to see these shapes sometimes. Uh, I don't I don't know what it's supposed to be called. I call it an M formation. Because if you look at it diagonally, it looks kind of like an M. I call this in my own <laughs> Minecraft Bob Ross language, uh, I call this a 5M. Because it's an M shape that's made up of 5 blocks. Sometimes you can do something like that. I call that a 7M and so on and so forth. You'll see some of those too in this if you keep going with this pattern. Anyway, we got 5 and then we do an M. Or a 5M and then we got 5. Notice we still have our sides here. As we keep expanding, those sides will still be there, those four major sides, but they will uh, they will gain less prominence as we continue. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just like that. I have these memorized up to this point, a bit beyond this point, because I've been using these shapes for years. Um, for a long time I had to look at a template, but <laughs> after a while you just get it. So see that? Now that's starting to look, to look like a circle, isn't it? Let's go on to the next one. The next one is uh, is actually the one that I use most often for my, for my towers and, and for a lot of different circular shapes. That rocket that I'm going to build for my son will probably involve uh, this shape at some point. And that is the 15 diameter circle. And it starts like this with five. But this one does something a little different. It's going to become more complex. We come off of that side with two. So we almost have like two sides now. And then we have one and then we have two this way. And that leads back into the five side, to the big side. What we'll call it for lack of a better term, the big side. <laughs> and then same thing, two, one, two. It just diagonalizes right there. Is diagonalize a word? I'm not sure, but I'm declaring it a word for purposes of this video. Alright, see how that works? So, sometimes you'll misplace. Sometimes you'll you'll mess these up. If, if, if you go around and it doesn't match up at the end, then you want to just review what you did. Double check it. But there it is. Now that's really starting to look like a circle. The next one's really easy. Go five because it's almost exactly like this one. This is a 17 uh, block diameter uh, circle. 
Now, instead of just putting one there, the only difference is, is that we corner that around. Notice that we always come in from that side. There's nothing that sticks out more than these big sides, right? Just keep that in mind. It's easy to kind of keep going like this sometimes and forget. And there are shapes that might, where you might take advantage of that. But not here. That's a 17 circle, as I like to call it. So we've gone from 1 to 17. Pretty good progression. Let's just sort of take note. And then I'm going to show you a couple of things about patterning here. So let's just look here. We have 1, then we have 3, 5, 7, 9, then we have 11, 13, my personal favorite, 15. 17. See how that works? Now, we're going to arrive at 19. 19 is actually kind of like 9. Remember how when we arrived at 9, I mentioned that whenever we go up a block size on the edge, it, it tends to overlap here. 19 is one that I'm sketchy on. Let me see if I can recall it from memory. <laughs> So we're going to start with our five, but this one's going to be seven. Okay, and then from there, we go like that. We go one, two. I think this one goes, if memory serves, let's see. I think it goes one, two, three. Then it goes two. I think that's right. Let's find out. <laughs> A little bit of fun. Let's see. What does it do? from there if memory serves. It corners like this. Then it goes here. Let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll show you a trick here in a moment that will help us if we're confused in these moments. Maybe we'll get it wrong and I'll revert to that trick. We'll see. I think this is gonna work out now. There's our side, recounting one, two. If you're not sure, you can put seven or eight or six, always recount while you're there. That way you won't have to go back and fix it later down the road. Because if you're one block off, obviously you won't have a true circle. Okay. Yeah, Bob Ross. Minecraft Bob Ross wins again. <laughs> And there it is. All right. So that's 19. And it just goes from there. Um, now, a quick point. Let's say that we had messed up here and we didn't know what to do. We'd gotten the shape wrong. Here's a little trick. Each shape, and maybe you figured this out on your own just watching, each shape is one block bigger. Well, overall it's two, but it hugs the side of the shape before it. So in other words, I could build, and we'll do it with a different color here to show it, I could build that 19 block here, and it will match up exactly. See how that works? Actually, let's see. One, two, three, one, two. I might have revealed a flaw in my build. Although, it works. Let's see. Let's find out. Yeah. There we go. 
that's the shape. So, my mistake here. If memory serves. One, two, three, one, two. I think we probably made this bigger than we should have. Let's count across. So we got one. We made the 21 diameter, essentially. <laughs> Funny. Um, so, we've we've actually, I'm glad we made this, uh, if I'm going to use my Bob Ross language, this happy accident. <laughs> because it actually works out to show us something about the system. It truly is systematic. The way this one works is it overlaps. And one, two, three, and then one, two, and then those meet up there. I knew that and I forgot. It happens. So, that was our starting point. Let's fix it. Uh, I'm glad I made this mistake because you're going to make these mistakes too. Even if you know what you're doing. I would like to believe that I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there's our new size, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, we're just reversing that pattern, right? like we can actually just build out from here let's take a look at that one it's a system right I like systems I like systematic ways of thinking for pragmatic things like this because you know, it's consistent it's a method you don't have to memorize so much when you have a method you memorize the method then you just follow the formula so let's see. So this will stick with the seven sides for a while, right? But the 21 looks like this. It comes off with two like that, and then it goes one, two, three, just like that. See how that looks? Kind of like, kind of like we saw with 11. Weird, of course, that that happens at 21. And that the 11 happens after the 9, which is patterned with the 19. So you're seeing a, a little systematic pattern here in this particular building system. Pretty easy there, right? Yeah. So if you're ever not sure what the next shape looks like, you, you can just usually figure it out easily enough, right? And just like 13 had these sort of M shapes after the 11, right? 23 will actually hug this right here with an M shape type thing. It'll kind of go like that. It'll be one of those seven M's like I mentioned earlier. Then it does this and comes out and that's the next shape. And our next shape after that, I'm going to go build over here. So, I want to show it to you. So, I'm going to skip. Because just like I like 15, I also like to use 25. In fact, let's build this one near 15. So, I'm going to compare here. Okay, so we're going to go. Let's find our center. I just want to center it up because I'm OCD like that. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, we have our starting side. Notice how f with the 15 circle, it after our side, it goes two, 
one, two, right? You have that little edge that's aligned parallel with the side. This will do that too, except instead of one of those, there's two. Instead of one of these, there's two. Okay. This one's easy to memorize. And it is a nice circle. expression of that same pattern right and so it's a repeating pattern all the way down so I use these are the two shapes the the one that's 15 in diameter and the one that's 25 these are the two shapes that I like to use and sometimes I'll even use like this one as a concentric circle for that one so for example if I were building a tower and, and the, the bottom part of the tower is really big, but then as you go up, it tapers off. Um, maybe the, the big base tower has a bigger tower on top of it. So I might start with the 25, build that up, and then come off of that with the, uh, with the 15. So uh, there are a lot of other uses. Um, and a lot of other ways to think about it. Maybe, maybe this is a tower, but on the inside I want to put another another tower inside of it, like another circular room, or maybe this houses some sort of spiral staircase or something, right? And so these two shapes really fit into each other really well. Uh, just a thought. Anyway, uh, that's Circle Building 101 right there. Uh, pretty easy. <sighs> um. I don't like making my videos too long. <laughs> I have done that plenty, but there's but there's some other things I want to show you, um, and I want to put them all in this one video. Uh, so bear with me. I'm actually going to uh, to leave Minecraft for a second to show you this next trick, which we'll use as a reference for Minecraft. See these shapes right here. This uh, I found this on the internet years ago and I think the person who made it I think they made it for Minecraft <laughs> and this is exactly these are exactly the shapes that I've been showing you uh, I tried looking it up for reference I, maybe I didn't try hard enough but I, would, I don't even know if the person who posted this made it themselves or got it from someone else uh, so uh, to, I'm going to give credit to the anonymous person who created this file uh, although it's not a hard, terribly hard file to make. Um, I also appreciate the point that they, you know, numbered the different circles as well. Uh, and so we made it, as you can see, we made it up to uh, 25. <laughs> uh, but it just keeps going up from there, up to about, up to 45. I would say most circle builds you do probably won't be any bigger uh, than, than this. Uh, so uh, my suggestion, what you might do at this point in the video, if, if you want, is you can take a screenshot of this from, from YouTube, go full screen, take a screenshot, and then you could, you could always maybe save this image that way to your computer. Uh, but you, if you look online, if you go on Google and put in like Minecraft circles, something like that, or circle shapes, you could probably find files like this, maybe even better than this. You might even find this file. Uh, this baby right here has never let me down. Uh, this has been a very useful reference for me, and I've been using this particular reference for almost 10 years now. <laughs> so you can't beat it. Anyway, um, but here's the question, I guess, right? Um, what if we want to make something even bigger? You know, what what if I have a a, a 200 block diameter um, build? It might happen. It's it certainly happened to me. I've built circles bigger than 200 blocks. 
uh, well, obviously, this isn't going to help us, and uh, and we don't want to keep trying to build circles out until we get to 200. That would be excessive. So I'm going to show you a way to use a simple, almost universal program to do this. Uh, I'm going to use Paint, not because Paint is a very good program, <laughs> uh, but because Paint it comes free with Windows. So if you're using Windows, you have Paint on your computer. Um, and but also because paint is simple, and a simple is good here because we're not trying to make a great work of art, we're just trying to make a reference. But if you have Adobe Photoshop or some other such image uh, producing program, I'm sure that'll work fine too, and it has similar features. We're going to use paint, so I'm actually going to go to paint at this point. I want to go ahead and full screen it. Let's say that I'm wanting to build a circle shape in Minecraft that is, I don't know, 150 blocks, something like that, something big. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the oval shape. Uh, that, that's same thing as a circle. <laughs> it could be an oval. We're going to make it a circle. Um, and, uh, and I'm going to make sure that the size of this is set. To one block thick. Now we're and the other part is we're going to zoom in as close as we can, like 800% zoom. Yeah, 800% zoom, because we want to see those pixels. These pixels represent blocks in Minecraft. So uh, we're going to use our circle tool and we're going to make a circle. You can make it black. I kind of like making it red. Red is easy to see. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, just in case I have colorblind viewers, who knows, let's make it black. So we got, we're set to circle, so let's just make a circle. Pay attention as I make the circle to, uh, to this little area down here. It's going to tell me the size of this, quote, circle, right? Just like in Minecraft, it's not really a circle, right? It's a series of blocks kind of shaped like something so closely approaching a circle that we call it a circle. Of course, the real kicker is, aren't all circles really that? Anyway, here we go. Okay, so now you can see if you pay attention to the bottom of the screen, you see those numbers that are moving. 37 by 57 pixels, right? Well, we want those to be the same or about the same to get our circle about right. So I'm going to go, you just got to play with it. We, we could go, you know, 50 by 50, but we're going for something big. So let's say we want to make, you know, 100. I want to, I want to do an odd number because that's what we've been using is odd numbers so far. Odd numbers mean that the whole thing's going to be odd based on ones instead of twos. It's going to be, it's going to have a one block center. Now, if you're going for a build that has a four block center, you're doing an even based build, not an odds based build. And, and sometimes you may need to do that. If you're doing that, you want to end on an even number. But we want an odd number. This is consistent with the system we've been using so far. So from here, I got my shape, right? And all I have to do, I'm going to leave this grid on so I can see this shape. And I'm going to just build that as I see it. I'm going to count these. I'm going to show you a trick for that. Some of these are easy to count. That's easy enough. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. That's three. Notice the pattern's the same here. Five, four, three, two, 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 two one. And it'll do the same thing here. Five, four, three, two, 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 one. See how that works? Just like in the circles we were just looking at, the pattern is the same all the way around. Okay. Uh, if it's not, then you didn't do your circle correctly here. And these two numbers probably don't match up. Anyway, um, so we want whatever times whatever, we want that to be the same number, 101, 101. Okay. Um, unless, you're, of course, you're making an oval shape and not a perfect circle. And hey, there you go. If you can make any oval shape in paint, so you can actually model out whatever it is you're going for, right? 
uh, you might be making, for example, a, uh, let's do another one. And then I'm going to show you a trick after this. You might be making a, uh, you know, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a pool or something. And it's an oval shaped pool. It's not a circle. It's kind of elongated. Well, you can, you can make that in paint and use that as your model in Minecraft. No problem at all. So paint's useful for that. Um, and there may be programs where you can zoom in even more than this. Anyway, uh, let's see. I wanted to show you one more thing. There's a line tool. I'm going to use a different color this time. I'm going to use red or yellow, something that really stands out. Green, maybe. I'm going to use red. I'm going to use the line tool, and I'm going to make sure it's set to one block thick, one pixel thick. And sometimes, if you have a really long stretch like this and you don't feel like counting it, again, pay attention to our measurement tool down here at the bottom. I can just start right here and make that line. And the readout tells me that it's 13 by 1, so I know that those sides are 13 now. I can leave that, or I can hit Control Z. I'm not going to undo it and take it back to black, or click undo, right? Whatever you want to do. Um, again, all these all these tools are standard to any sort of program like Paint. So yeah, that's that's sort of an easy way to do it. Um, it's it's not hard. From there, um, having a dual monitor, which I which I do, is actually very useful. Then you can slap this image up in the other secondary monitor, and you can do your Minecraft build your primary monitor and, and look at it and build. And that's how that works. Um, you, you do this, you figure out the, the diameter of the circle you need, you build that diameter accordingly in paint, and then you have a model that you can work off of, no problem. All right, um, anyway, um, back to Minecraft, I guess. That's, that's about all there is. Uh, from there, um, it's all you. Once you know how to build circles, you can do all kinds of cool things. You can build towers, you can build rings, you can you can build, um, maybe you can use half of this and sort of build like a, a dome or an archway. Uh, another point worth noting is that you can build spheres once you know how to do this. But that, my friends, will be the topic of another, perhaps even longer, tutorial. Maybe we'll call it Circles Part 2. Anyway, in the meantime, this has been Minecraft Bob Ross, your favorite chilled out Minecraft guy. And I wish you the best, and I wish you happy Minecrafting.